Hey y'all, it's your girl Kim. Y'all look at the building all up on the screen. I know you're like, girl, why is you wearing this bib? That's because my works logo is here. And I don't need y'all following me around. Come on, man. I know y'all want some inspiration in the flesh, but no. 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 My husband gonna have to find me here on accident. Not because it was all over the gram and all over YouTube. So, yeah. Your girl is naked my right, right now. She don't even have her face in her earpiece just fell out. I'm sorry, y'all. This is looking very raggedy, raggedy. Um, but whatever the case, I felt like making a video right now, so here we are. Um, so this morning, I had a little moment. I had a little moment because I was watching somebody on YouTube. Well, not YouTube, on Instagram today. And, uh... The lady is beautiful. She is so talented. It's ridiculous. And uh, she makes these like yarn bags and stuff. This ain't no makeup material, y'all. I'm just talking. It's kind of like get ready with me. Look at her. I'm trying to do something. It looks a hot mess, but listen, don't don't ask me for advice doing makeup. This is me. Okay? That's what I do for myself. So let me be. I'm y'all critiquing. Um, but anyway, so, I was watching this lady today, and how she grew so rapidly, like, this lady grew so quick with her talent in making bags, and she deserves every single bit of it, because it's phenomenal, like, it makes me want to leave her in the, in the comment section or whatever it is, because it's just so... It's just that stuff, okay? I wouldn't be making her stuff for nobody. So, I was looking at her stuff and I was like, wow, that is amazing. Like, that is, that's, blows my mind. But she deserves every bit because like I said, I'm trying to purchase the bag, sis. Because you did that. You did that. But while I was watching, it was like something started like growling in the inside of me. And it wasn't jealousy at all. You know what I mean? Like some people look and they be like, well, why am I not like this? Once again, remember I told you we weren't going to ask the question why anymore? We were going to say what? So I was like, what is this feeling? And then I wrote a message to myself on my phone. It randomly just came to me. And it was just like, okay. You've been living your whole life as a lamb, as a scared little lamb, because you're afraid of failure. You're afraid of failure, pretty much. And um, it was just like it's been 30 years. Come on, sis. Your daddy didn't raise me punk. And it's funny, because I always have that saying, and I always say it all the time when somebody like tries to like, rile me up a little bit and be like, your daddy ain't raised no punk. But I've been living like a punk. <laughs> it's crazy to admit that, but it, it's, it's a fact. I've been living like a punk. I have a million dollars in me. And I've known this since I was a kid. More than a million dollars in me with my gifts, talents, and abilities that I just been keeping to myself because because I'm afraid that people won't accept it, people won't love it, people won't buy it, people won't want it, people won't want to support it. And um, I'm not supposed to be trying to put on makeup. Um, but yeah, it was just like Ooh. She's snotting at everything, y'all. <laughs> this is how you know this is the real deal, okay? Um, she's snotting and crying. Um, we're getting it together. But I've always known that I was meant for big things. But I've always been afraid of failing. And at some point, you gotta get over that. 
I feel like I've missed out on so many opportunities in life um, and experiences just because I didn't want to fail. I didn't want to fail. And it's not like I don't have a supporting family. My parents love me. My family is amazing. Okay? There is nothing I can't do. I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> In a positive way. Okay? There is nothing I can't do. It's what they've always told me and always let me know. And my dad has always been like, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. My mom is always like, you got this. My sister's always like, girl, when you gonna do it? When you gonna do it? You're like... Yeah. So that just came to me. Because it's just like, when are you going to just stop letting your thoughts keep you from this beautiful thing that it has for me? Because when I say I honestly feel like I'm going to be a millionaire. I've honestly felt like that since I was a kid. Like always, I always felt like, you know, somebody in our family would be one of those people that would be able to take care of future generations to some degree. Okay, I don't mean, listen, nieces, nephews, cousins and aunts, that I can't take care of you now, okay? Can't take care of you, but <laughs> she will definitely be a resource so that you can be able to take care of yourself. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Yeah. But just seeing that, her work is astonishing. It's just phenomenal. And I've seen the work that I can do, and I know my potential. And it was just like, stop. Stop being a punk. Stop. What if everything you've been afraid of was just nonsense? What if the whole time? This whole 30 years, it was just the devil that was just like, I got, I got a special trick for you, okay? I'm going to take a girl who has so much talent and capabilities, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trick her into fear for years, for years, because I don't want her to be this magnificent thing that I know she's going to be, and this huge blessing to her family. And he's been winning at it. He's been winning at it. And I just feel like recording this in case somebody else is going through the same thing. Says, brother, we gotta stop. Because he's the only one winning. And we still on here living paycheck to paycheck. And working these stupid jobs. And we don't have to. Because we were made for so much more. For so much more. Y'all, my makeup. <laughs> this makeup is done for. I'm, I'm about to put on this mascara. Girl, you gotta stop tearing up and crying. You just, you just getting this real true talk. Does this mean I'm about to go out here and just take off like a lightning rod? No. But you've acknowledged what the issue is. It's been revealed to you. So now what you gonna do? I'm gonna put my face on so I can make the ceremony. But this isn't my destiny. And this isn't the end. And it's not the end for you either, sis. Or brother. It's not. Maybe this helps to somebody out. Maybe it doesn't. But I told you we finna document this thing. So here we go. I love you much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This isn't for you though. <laughs> I mean, it is for you, but it's not for you. Like I said, we're documenting this thing, so hopefully you can hear me. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Love you much. Bye.